welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be stuffing my cash envelopes again. Um, but we are going to start this. I know that it's new and I never do this, but I really want to start tracking um, how much I need to put into the envelopes and everything. Um, so we have a little transfer section, and that's where I transfer money over to my Capital One account to pay these bills, um, except for daycare. Daycare I pay with a check, but... Regardless, that's how I do bills. Um, and then over here we have the cash envelopes that I use. We have rent, which is how much it's going to be. And then sinking funds, um, which is just three. Uh, so yeah, let's just get started. So the first thing that I want to do is write down that I have to transfer $65. Also, excuse my nails. I need to get them off, but whatever. Um, so $65, car insurance gets $150, and car loan gets $103. And the, why, the reason why some of them, um, well these ones aren't split into four, they're just split into two is because um, electricity is due on the 14th, so I just have two paychecks between then. Um, car insurance is due like the 24th, and so is car loan. Um, but I just like to get those out of the way. Um, and then daycare isn't going to get any because I only pay it every two weeks. So, there we go. Um, then we have spending, which spending is going to be receiving 50 this month, or this week. Household is 20. Gas is 20. Eating out is 50. And groceries is 40. And then seeking funds, I've already written in the household one, or the house savings one. So that's $90. Christmas is going to get 50. And car maintenance is going to get 40. Sorry, the lawn company is here. Um, but yeah, so the this is how I'm going to start breaking down everything. I've already written what I need on a sticky note, and that's because I have like $600 to deposit, and some of that money is from my cash envelopes that were getting a little thick, so I wanted to get bigger bills. Uh, but yeah, this is what I'm going to be getting at the bank. $400 in $100 bills, $150 in 50s, and then $120. So I'm going to be taking out $650. Um, for everything. However, some of that money already came out or it's going back into my bank account to get the right denominations. So, yeah, I will be back when this is all done. Alright everyone, so I am back with an envelope stuffing. Um, so you guys saw the first part. I went to the bank, I got my money, I spread it all out. All I needed was hundreds, fifties, and twenties for this week um so we're just gonna dive right in so this first one is groceries and this one is gonna get forty dollars so two twenties and this is going to have a total of eighty now which should let's see twenty forty sixty eighty so now this one is done Alright, the next cash envelope, this is actually Jacob's spending money. Yesterday I really condensed it because there were a lot of ones. There were like 27 ones or something crazy. So I condensed it a lot. Um, he also got his 50 for spending, so I just put that in. And he's having me hold on to it so it doesn't spend it like crazy. <laughs> his words, not mine. <laughs> so I'm just going to hold it on, keep it safe for him. But obviously, like, he knows where it is, and he doesn't have to ask me to buy anything. If he wants something, you just grab it. Like, I'm not controlling it. Just keep putting that out there. But, um, I do have little sticky notes on here that was reminding me how much I needed to grab out of the bank or whatever. So this one is a 50. And this is for eating out. I still do have a gift card from my birthday to Bonefish. So, and the Bonefish one has $65 on it, so that's pretty nice. So we're going to go on a date night. A family date night, because we'll take Maddie with us. It'll be fun. Um, and then this next one is gas, which I needed to withdraw a 20. So 
So gas gets $20 a week. <clears throat> okay. The next one is spending. I needed to withdraw $100 um, because it was like $343 total. And that was with the um, 50 so I don't need a 50 because I traded that in to help me get the $100 bill. So now we have... 1, 2, 3, 40, 20, 40, 41, 42, 43. So 343 for my spending. Um, and I just want to put this out there that I am, I love looking at stuff when I don't have money, but when I do have money, like, I'm very picky of what I get. <laughs> so that's just how I am. And then Jacob's over here spending money on food. Like, that's all he's bought in so far and, like, his computer stuff and a computer game. Um, but the rest is like all food. It's ridiculous. Um, so then we have household, which is going to get $20. <clears throat> okay. Put that in there. Currently it doesn't have anything because we went to TJ Maxx and it got a couple of um, decor pieces. <clears throat> and then we have car maintenance. Which I needed to withdraw 70 because I had a total of 76, but there were a lot of smaller bills. So for this one, it's a 50 and a 20. And then, so that's 75, $76 in car maintenance. Oh, and I should probably start writing down. Okay, so... Twenty dollars. Twenty. Spending. I don't have a count thing on it. Um, this one's gonna get twenty. Eating out is going to receive twenty. Oh no, sorry, fifty. Jacobs doesn't have one. Groceries. 40. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. This one is 40. The ending balance is 76. Then we have gifts, which didn't need anything, I believe. I think this just has 75 in here. 50, 75, yeah. Um, for Christmas, I needed to withdraw a hundred and a fifty. Because obviously the total now is at one fifty, but I would have had three fifty dollar bills instead of a hundred and a fifty. And because this is getting at six hundred, I just want to keep it with bigger bills as much as possible. <laughs> and the last one is house savings, which I had to withdraw two hundred. Um, I did turn in the $110 that was in here because it was getting pretty big. So I just, um, there was $110 and then $90 was this week's amount. So then that equals $200. So I just got two $100 bills, which will make it easy when I go to deposit this money to just deposit $100 bills. And then I'm going to write that on the back. $90 and I didn't take any out so it's 200 now crazy in three weeks I saved up $200 for house savings like I'm excited to move guys we're really excited to just buy the house and you know have something to call ours and save up for renovations or whatever we want to do like we've already talked about how we want our kitchen to look like and how we want our backyard and I just can't wait I really can't um, we're gonna really bring you guys along for like the whole process um, we probably won't do any renovations right off the bat just because it is a savings thing that we have to do unless we have money left over after buying the house like um, for our mortgage and stuff then we might do renovations but I don't know um, but yeah so again lawnmowers are out they're a big company so they have like five or six people out there right now 
but yeah that's everything for my cash envelope stuffing I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys like seeing these types of videos. It's really fun for me to make and I love budgeting and seeing where the money's going. Um, I am trying to get better at doing the weekly tracking, um, but it's just, it's kind of hard to do because some stuff I'm buying on my card and then I'll transfer the money in and it's, it's kind of complicated. So like it's hard to keep track of where I get what. Um, but overall, it's okay. I do love doing this, and I love making these types of videos. So if you like this, definitely give it a thumbs up, and hit that subscribe button. I hope to see you guys next week. Bye, everyone.